Afrikaans, Stage Center Lesson 13. Detail Tenses As in English, there are three tenses. Tienwoordige tijd, known as the present tense, that is vandaag or today. Verlede tijd, that is the past tense, that is gister or yesterday. To come in the tijd, the future tense, that is morgen or tomorrow. If you are asked to change the tense, number one, read the sentence. Number two, underline the verb. This will tell you which rule to follow. It is always verb one that moves around. Number three, circle the conjunctions. If there is a conjunction, it means that there are two sentences, both of which need to be changed. Number four, bracket the infinitive. Um plus de, the verb, so that you remember to put it to the end. If there is just a regular verb, we use het plus ge for the past tense and sal for the future tense. For example, ek lees a book. Ek het a book gelees or ek sal a book lees. Point two. If the verb begins with b, g, her, ont, ver, and mis, we get het, but no g in the past tense. Begin, gesels, herken, ervaar, ontmoet, verstaan, misbruik. Ek verstaan al my werk, becomes ek het al my werk verstaan. Die sien ontmoet sy vriende by die bioskoop. Becomes, die sien het sy vriende by die bioskoop ontmoet. Exceptions are gebewe, gebere en gebedel. If the verb is an is, it changes as indicated. For example, daar is baie mense in Suid-Afrika. Becomes, daar was baie mense in Suid-Afrika. And daar sal baie mense in Suid-Afrika wees. Another example. Present tense. Die examen is makkelijk. Past tense. Die examen was makkelijk. In future tense. Die examens sal makkelijk wees. If there is a dis, remember to change it to dit. For example, this coat becomes that is coat. If the verb is a hat without the g, it changes as indicated. This hat means that you have something. Ik het a mooi huis. Ik het a mooi huis gehad. Ik zal a mooi huis he. Or, die meisie het baie vriende. Die meisie het baie vriende gehad. Die meisie sal baie vriende he. If the verb is a word, change as indicated. In the active form will be. Jylle word ingeneers. Jylle het ingeneers geword. Or, jylle sal ingeneers word. Then the passive. Ek word dier my ma gejaap. Becomes, ek is dier my ma gejaap. Or, Ek sal dier my ma gejaap word. If there is a verb plus preposition, it becomes one word in the past and future tense. Example, ek tel die boek op. Ek het die boek opgetel. Ek sal die boek optel. Or, ek gooi die papier weg. Ek het die papier weggegooi. Ek sal die papier weggooi. If there is a helping verb plus a verb, only the helping verb changes in the past tense. This meaning changes slightly when we use the ge. For example, ik moet my werk doen. Ik moes my werk doen. Ik sal my werk moet doen. Or, ik wil a present he. Ik wou a present he. En ik sal a present wil he. Etc. If we use the helping verbs gaan, laat, en kom, 
They go to the end of the sentence just before the verb. Examples are Ik ga in die dam swim becomes Ik het in die dam gaan swim or Ik zal in die dam gaan swim, etc. If there are two verbs in the same sentence without a conjunction between them, then both verbs go to the end and verb 1 goes before verb 2. The G is optional but may go before verb 1. For example, Ek hoor die leeuw bril becomes Ek het die leeuw ge hoor bril. Ek sal die leeuw hoor bril. Or, ons sien die man verdrank. Ons het die man gesien verdrank. Or, ons sal die man sien verdrank. If there are two verbs happening at the same time, connected by in, and the first verb is sit, le, loop, or staan, then only the first verb gets the g in the past tense. For example, die man sit en lees op die stoep becomes die man het op die stoep gesit en lees or die man sal op die stoep sit en lees. Another example, hy le en slaap op die bed becomes hy het op die bed gele en slaap or hy sal op die bed le in slaap. If we get any other combination of verbs connected by n, then both verbs get a g in the past tense. For example, ik slaap in werk in my slaapkamer becomes ik het in my slaapkamer geslaap en gewerk or ik sal in my slaapkamer slaap en werk, etc. If there is a conjunction in the sentence, we treat it like two separate sentences. We do sentence one as if sentence two does not exist. We put the conjunction and then we do sentence two as if sentence one does not exist. For example, die bokkie hartloop weg want die leo jago becomes die bokkie het weg hartloop want die leo het hom gejaag. Or, die bokkie sal weg haar klop, want die leo sal omjaag. The conjunctions dan, as, in wanneer, in nou, change to to in the past tense. Examples, Jan doen eerste huiswerk, dan speel hy in die tuin. Becomes, Jan het eerste huiswerk gedoen, to het hy in die tuin gespeel. Another example, ek skrik as ek een slang sien, becomes, ek het geskrik toe ek een slang gesien het, etc. If the verbs are skybare werkwoorde, they can be separated in the present tense. Sky means separate. Examples are, ek skakel die licht aan, becomes, ek het die lig aangeskakel or ek sal lig aanskakel. Another example, hy wens my geluk becomes hy het my geluk gewens or hy sal my geluk wens. We recognize a skybare werkwoord because the emphasis falls on the first part like aantrek af Haal, deel neem, geluk wens, goed keer, groot word, lief he, nat gooi, saam gaan, stil staan, uit nooi, uit trek, weg gooi. If the verbs are onskybare werkwoorde, a, they can never be separated and b there is no g in the past tense for examples hy mishandel die hond becomes hy het die hond mishandel 
or I sell the hund, Miss Handel. Another example, I fall to a sin becomes I hate the sin fall to a or I sell the sin fall to a. We recognize our own sky barrack word because the emphasis fall on the second part. Some examples are Anfar, Achtervolg, Begin, Bestaan, Betaal, Erken, Geniet, Herken, Herzien, Mislei, Mishandel, Misluk, Omjaals, Onderzoek, Ondervind, Onthou, Ontmoet, oorhandig, oortuig, oorwin, vergeet, verstaan, vol twee. Exceptions. The following words are onskryfbare werkwoorde, although the emphasis fall on the first part of the word. These words do get a g in the past tense. Blinddoek, dagvaar, glimlach. Hand half, hard loop, knip oog, lief quiz, openbaar, raad pleeg, rang skik, rechtverdig, waar borg, waar ski. Example, sy glimlag vriendlik, sy het vriendlik geglimlag, sy sal vriendelik glimlag, etc. How die tye is tested? A. Skryf oor in die verlede tyd of toekomende tyd. B. If they begin with a word or words indicating a different time, then you have to continue using the clues they have given you. C. If they give you a sentence and then change it slightly in the sentence below, you must look for clues and then continue. Remember to underline the verbs, circle the conjunctions and bracket the infinitives. Thank you. The Statue Center turning ordinary learners into extraordinary leaders.